Okay, here we are with a new uh, Garmin GPS 19X NEMA 2000 antenna installation. Okay, you can see now that I've got about a 20 something foot um, signal degradation, but I'm shielding the antenna with my body right now. As you can see, I've got it up against me. Okay, I've also got it upside down. I'm just going to release the antenna. You see the shadow in the screen. Um, I've just stood it up right here in front of the dash. And if you'll watch, the signal will go to 9.8 feet. Okay. So, now I'm going to take the antenna and hold it up on, on the... Uh, hold it up on top of the roof. And let's see... Interestingly, we have full bars now, but the signal strength still has 9.84 feet. All right. I'm also going to try this up inside the box because I'm debating on mounting it up here as well. And so let's hold it up there where it would be mounted. Uh, now you can see I'm holding it in place. The signal's almost as good. It still has a 9.84% uh, mark. However, I want to show you something interesting. I'm going to key the mic, and I've got the radio on high. You can see that the radio is about uh, a foot and a half away from the antenna. And watch what happens when I key the mic. Okay, it's keyed, test. Test, test, check, 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 test, 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 check, check, check. And you can see that some of the signal degradation is, is affected, but not that much. Okay? Now, I'm going to uh, take the antenna back down, and I'm going to mount it under the behind the GPS here I'm sorry I'm working by myself and I'm having to just lay it in there and, and I'm not laying it straight up and down either but I'm still going to set it in there and see what kind of signal we can get there um, once again I think it's because it's laying flat on its side as you can see I'm going to try to stand it up in here as if it would be uh, mounted now let's look, and I'm hoping you can see this, but I'm doing it by myself. Okay, the signal's back up. So if I was going to do an under deck mount, it actually looks like this might be the best case for this boat. And the reason I say that is because uh, there is less, let me put this GPS away, there's less structure from the roof being down in this area uh, versus well no up there that's just straight fiberglass too so I don't know I'll play with it a little bit more and I'll decide where to mount it and I'll also keep an eye on this it's really easy to move so I might do a little bit of experimentation on the water but um, keep in mind that I'm going to mount radar now see it was laying down on the dash. If you just lay it there like that, then the signal is still 9.4. The only way I can get the signal to go down is to move the antenna way down. Um, I'm going to put it inside that cavity down there. And as you can see, it's diminished now. And it's underneath a lot of structure right there. It's down inside the dash laying in a down position uh, and the signal starting to go away now let's see if the accuracy will go away I've noticed that's a slow process for the accuracy probably because the boats not moving but as you can see now it is starting to lose its accuracy on the signal Watch how fast, and it'll go to about 20 feet if I leave it like that. Watch how fast this will correct if I take this antenna and just stand it up anywhere under here. Look how quickly it corrected itself. 
So in this particular case, I think it it gets, once again, I'm putting it outside now over the hard top. With there, watch what happens. Um, it's good. However, the building, there is a building right there, but I'm almost as high as the building. Let's look again. So there's not that much of a difference in signal strength and or degradation. Uh, more to come.